I ordered a whole bunch of stuff. Max the credit card out, probably gonna get yelled at. Oh, <laughs> these, guys are, these guys are tiny. So that's a good looking fish right out of the box. This is my new favorite right here. This is a diamond tetra. Don't believe I ordered these in before. A lot of people think, oh, they're dead, or they're upside down. No. All right, Corey's gonna yell at me when he sees these. What is it? Oh, no. You ready? You ready, buddy? Game faces. I'm back! Like Jason Voorhees, you can't kill this. Chicken bake. Chicken bake. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got an unboxing today. Daddy's away. I ordered a whole bunch of stuff. Maxed the credit card out, probably gonna get yelled at. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, man. Let's see if I still got this. How you been, though? I'm good, busy, busy. Yeah. 19 days till I have a kid. I don't know if anyone, well, I guess people probably saw that through the yeah, forums. Yeah. yeah. Nice clean shave today. Clean the shave. Wife shave. <laughs> she said I had to shave, put the wax in the hair. Yeah, it looks good. And button out the shirt, because if Great. I have it down where it's cooler next door, yeah. she doesn't like me showing off the chest. Oh. Bag number one. What do we got? We got German blue rams. How come they always just look so pale? Because like they need the to, worst fish they need to get in like filtrated, clean, warm water. Warm water. I think it's the warm, warm water. water. So these are going to look pretty good. I, I've been getting some good, uh, what I call roosters, past few shipments. You know, guys are like really colored up. They got the big old spike on the top. Yeah. Hawaii variatus body. So these oh, have been a nice little surprise. Awesome. Like I showed them to Steamfot and he came down here right away and bought some. Cooler water platy. So if you're doing kind of a little bit different kind of pond fish, I mean, I guess up here you wouldn't want to keep them all year, but yeah. you know, say you're in California, Florida, be a fun, <laughs> fun fish. Got yeah. that, uh, I call the McDonald's, you know, colors yeah. there. I like how you put it in the, like the bottom tank near, mm -hmm. the, near the door. Yeah. And when the sunshine hits them. Oh, they look the, great. The green comes out. All right, we got the Amber Tetras. Classic fish for the shop. Actually, one of our, I think it's like a top three Tetra. Great for those nano tanks. I love to pair these up with uh, Betas. Yeah, just great orange color. Amber is the color of your inner. Yeah. All right, we got the Chili Rasbora. Oh, yeah. AKA the Brigate Rasbora. What do you call them? Or Brigati. Brigati. <laughs> Brigatis. <laughs> uh, another great nano fish. How many would you do in a five gallon? So many. You so many. Know. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I feel like I would do at least 15. Just yeah, to make 15 that like number with stick a bunch out. Of plants, though. Yeah. That's the plants. And what do we got? We got, ooh, okay, so I was curious how these would look. This, usually these look pretty good. That's what uh, I call a marigold good. sword tail. Marigold. So once oh, the males develop a little more, they got a nice little black tail to them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, on some of them. Yeah, I can see them. I like the red heads. Oh. oh, what do we got here? All right, so rainbows, great time right now. They've been all coming in great. These kamakas? Selling, yeah, these are kamakas. I've been oh, selling man, rainbows back. like crazy. I freaking love these because why? The males awesome. and the females kind of look the same. Look the same. Yeah. And they look amazing. So I'd say with rainbows, you know, do yourself a favor, do like 55 gallons and up. You know, they are schooling fish. They want to do, you know, at least five or so. Mm -hmm. Ooh, all right, so we got some of the oddballs in here. Oh, he came in tiny. All right, I have to put him in a different tank so he doesn't get eaten. Uh, Polyptrus tegalizi. That's a slice of a cooling loach. So I call these tegs for short. Tegs. Real nice, Bashir. I mean, they get a little bit of size, so if you're kind of done playing with the Senegals, you're looking for next one up, this would be a good one to go with. A little bit bigger. I want to say they're like 15 inches full grown. Nice kind of like brick red color to them. Break red. <laughs> I found them to be a little bit more slender, like a little bit, not like rope fish slender, but they're not chunky like a Delhizi. Okay. So, cool yeah, fish. Pretty small, cool fish. Huh? Came in pretty small. Price has definitely gone up. So, those are going to be, uh, gosh, almost like a $70 fish right there. $70. But that's just the price of all the fish going up, right? Mm -hmm. All the fish, yeah, yeah, pretty much just gone up. Ouch. All right. So, we got the long fin, blue eyed, bristle nose. How come we don't see a lot of these being bred I'm not sure. Here? I, you know, yeah, everyone else breeds everything else. I find these to do really well in the shop. Yeah. Good project fish right there. All right, orange flash, cockatoides. Haven't had these in for a while. Man, I'm just getting excited for every single fish. In my opinion, I felt like this line was getting a little weak, so I kind of gave it some time to cool off, mm -hmm. and bring them, try them again, see if, uh, you know, see if they do a little bit better. 
That color looks amazing, yeah. though. It's it's out of the box. Zone. That's a good-looking fish right yeah. out of the box. All right, we got the black ghost knife. What is that? What's Corey's? Ooh, one? Spoon. Spoon. Well, that's a great name, by the way. So adorably cute. Oh, man. I think that's it for uh, box number one right there. Not too bad. Box number two. Oh, I didn't want to come off. All right, we got black phantoms. This is one I like. This is looking like... They look like that. Looks like fish. An, a lot of males in there, but I, I like this one for tanks. It's kind of a twofer. And what I mean is the males and females are different looking. Unlike so you, the Kamakas. Yeah, so like a neon tetra, male and females all pretty much are, you know, they look the same. Yeah. I, I would expect like the female is probably a heavier bodied, where this, the male is going to be like the black phantom, and the females are actually more of a, gosh, I call them like a ruby kind of color. So it's two fish. Yeah. Ooh, all right. So we got that. Well, they call the high dorsal, but I'm going to say a high fin. Whiptail catfish. I believe Corey has oh, something very yeah. similar to these, if it's not this Gene one. does too. Definitely a fan of the whiptails this summer. I've been ordering them in. That's cool. Are you getting good close ups on that? Omnivorous fish. <laughs> kind of think of these guys like giant auto sinkless in some degrees. Okay. Yeah, I can't do it. Anti-climatic. Anti-climatic. It's a little rusty. It's all right. It's the way they tied it. I can't do it. All right. So people have been in, knocking my door down trying to get these guys. These have been really hard to get a hold of. Uh, Cooley loaches. Why is that? So my guess is, because I believe these come from India. Sorry, I got something in my eye. That's okay. They come from India, and I believe right now with everything oh. that's been kind of going on yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I definitely know it's like pee poppers and coo loaches. Like pee poppers have just been disappeared completely off the map for the past like two months now. Oh. Uh, coo loaches have been coming and going like, maybe I try to order them, they're not available or just I haven't seen them. So ordered a bunch of them. Hopefully satisfy a bunch of customers in this area. All right, we got the orange auto sinkless. Oh. Don't look very orange, but we've had these in prior. I just love the rare types of autos. Like we got zebras in the store right now too. Yeah, pretty cool. I like to kind of bring those different types in there. Are these a little bit harder to keep? I would say so. I yeah. think that's why you don't see them as well. Autos are in general, general are a little bit harder to keep because correct. yeah, not enough algae. And what do we got here? The red lizard whip tail. Little baby guys. Little babies. Little babies. I like how they say aquarium co op on that one too. <laughs> okay, these are cool. Jaden will like these. We got the albino marble hoplo catfish. Oh, yeah. A little bit cooler, water tolerant catfish. I actually like to pair these guys up with the, the uh, goldfish in the shop. It might be kind of hard to see in the bag with that water. They're hard to see in tanks too because they just hide. <laughs> They got nice, cool. I love that they're like the long whiskers they have on them. Yeah. Uh, I want to say, if you're curious, about six inches or so, and I think in full grown for these. We got these stir by Corridoras. Yeah. These guys keep climbing up in price. Uh, one of my favorite Corridoras. They look great. I think they add color to any tank. Mm -hmm. Some people you know, kind of get a little bored with some of the bottom fish. Uh, go with these. Yeah. Some fish I like small, but for some reason I like them when these are really chunky. Chunky, yeah, yeah chunky. I love it. <laughs> Still stuck with these little blue things. <laughs> I love it. For the camera, I have to For use the this. <laughs> ah. The struggle is real. The struggles. Three hours later. Yeah, I can't do it. The way they tied it up, I can't do them. All right, what do we got here? I feel like this is an auto sinkless. It is. This is the Redfin auto sinkless. So this one's a new one for us. Okay. I what? don't believe I ordered these in before. They're big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait for the color up and be in a tank. If I remember correctly, I think when I was doing a little research, it looks like they get some spots on them. Well, we'll just have to see, right? Yeah. Jimmy's job, get some good yeah. B-roll, or they're like all gone within a week. I'll be back. <laughs> Got the blue wood shrimp. So these guys were pretty hard to get a hold of until just recently. During the whole COVID 
situation of 2020, these are pretty much non-existent. So either one just molted or he's not doing too well. That's pretty typical with the bigger shrimp. Usually one doesn't oh, come yeah. in too well. Those are snack size. Yeah. So they're also called vampire shrimp. We don't like to use that name. Kind of scares customers. These guys are big, harmless. Kind of scares dopey. customers. That sounds cool. Like cool. That sounds cool to me. Yeah. <laughs> pretty formidable looking like little, uh, it's like spikes that you think were like, oh, they're going to like snag fish. No, they're like to the anchor into like wood where our current would be so they don't like blow down the stream. Oh. So they anchor down there and then they throw their little collectors out. The more you know. All right, we got the Celestial Pearl Daniels. Oh, yeah. Classic. Classic, classic. Favorite. That should definitely be a breeding project yes, for most yes. people. Yes, <laughs> All right, we got the Cherry Barbs. Looks like some good males in there. Nice. This is my 75. Awesome fish. Oh, yeah, some of them are flamed up Yeah. There. That was a good looking fish. This would be a good little, little fun kind of pond fish for some people. Yeah. Great, great, great fish. I'd say one of my top 10 um, for uh, beginners or experts. I think they put a nice little splash of color to anything. Yeah. All right, Corey's going to yell at me when he sees these. What is it? Snake skin garamis. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Food fish from Thailand. <laughs> you can get up. It's like the equivalent of a bluegill from over there. Are these <laughs> aggressive? So no, they're uh, most food they, fish are. Uh, generally, I'd say overall peaceful. Like with any garami, kind of keep an eye on them. Now I get this question asked a lot: Can garamis go with angelfish? I personally don't like mixing them. Some people have different experience. I'd say probably on most cases, watch the angelfish. There are some garamis like a male dwarf garami. They're just kind of naughty guys. I would just kind of keep an eye on them. But I overall don't like doing that mix. I feel like they kind of go to war with each other. But these are a sizable garami. So, you know, if you're kind of, you know, the pro garami's not your jam. You know, you're not like an angelfish. You know, maybe give these guys a whirl. All right. One of my favorites, Bolivian Rams. Definitely oh, have some these. gorgeous ones in our display tank. I can't oh. say enough on these fish. Now I got to film them. These are actually not looking too bad for in the bag. Yep. Always look better than German blue rams. I always tell people, though, though you got to get these home, feed them up a bit more. They always kind of come in pretty skinny. Uh, get them in those planted tanks, fat them up with some blood worms. They're not aggressive when it comes to eating, so they're not the first one to go to the top of the tank. They're going to hang out below. So if you have a lot of tetras in action like that, they're just not going to get to the food. So you might need to keep them like in your QT tank and kind of fatten them up yeah. there. They kind of eat like uh, giraffe parties or something. Mm -hmm. Well, they're they're but, actually a, 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 a subspecies of like the geophagus. Okay, there it is. Or like it's distantly related. All right, these are the funs. Little expensive bags. What we got is the that? leopard frog right here. So I think these are. I can't remember. I got to look at our system, but it might be like 140 for these now. Dang, they have gone up. 140, 150, somewhere in that area. The L264. I believe they used to call these the salt, salt. vicos, but we're leperata, lepro can ethicus. I butchered that one. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty good, though. I always like these. Kind of give me a vibe of, you know, like those sharks you could get in your saltwater tanks? Yeah, yeah, yep. Always yep. Like, I like because that look. Because of the gray and white. Yeah, yeah, gray and white. Nice little polka dot kind of color. I freaking love these, man. How big do these get? I want to say they're like six and a half. That's pretty big. That is pretty big. And they keep the colors all the way through? Keep the colors. That's a good looking fish from baby to adult. Wow. And then we have the L018 Gold Nugget. I believe there's like two other types of gold nuggets out there. Very ancestral. He is like hiding up there. There he is. There he is. That's a fish, what I call like, doesn't make it through the weekend. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> loves them? Yeah, the gold nuggets always seem to go real quick. Yeah. Got the military, is there the, yeah, the military helmet snails, so a little species of nearite snails. I love the name. Yeah, pretty cool. They seem to be pretty durable. Ooh. Gold looks Gardner like, Achilles. Yeah, I was like, looks like Achilles. Nice long lived Keeley fish. Not an annual, right? Not an annual. Dang, Do not so put with your microfish though. These will eat them. <laughs> these look so good. All right, we got some bettas. So they're calling these uh, fancy dragon placots. These almost look like koi to me. <laughs> yeah, that looks like koi from afar. I like that one. Oh, dark red. A little yeah. bit of pinto blue. Oh 
yeah. Look at that. Gorgeous. Good looking fish. Someone's gonna go home happy. Yeah, that looks good. All right, well, we did some bettas. Like I said, I ordered what well, they called fancy dragon placards, but these look like koi to me. Maybe I don't know anything about bettas. I don't know. I have no idea, man. <laughs> They're all cool fish. That's what I'm going to say. Yep. <laughs> They're all the same species. Care's all the same. All right. Oh, man. These guys are, these guys are tiny compared to what their little brothers are going to be out on the floor. Uh, so this is definitely a tetra, like a new one. So you know how like, I love the candy cane tetra? Yeah. This is my new favorite right here. This is a diamond tetra. Oh. So we'll, we'll probably about. need to give justice for these. We gotta film them up, like what's in the display oh, tank. Yeah, they look great. They, and I noticed that their colors kind of vary throughout the day a little bit, but they look good with those green and that kind of shiny scales against a planet tank. I even got some of these at my home aquarium. So real tiny right now. They're going to be a little bit on the pricier side. I think it's a five or six dollar tetra, uh, but it's well worth it once they grow up. And it's a decent size chapter too. I mean, we're talking like Colombian blue tetra yeah, size. We'll show you like, like half dollar size. So to the other fish. You're looking for that bigger, bigger tetra. It's going to be one of them. Exclamation point rasboros. I like the, which one do you like better? Chilies or exclamation points? I like chilies. Because like they're classic and they get more red, right? Yeah. Yeah. And these will have more of an orange kind of yeah. look. Some of them, we got a few of these looking great in Thatch's tank. All right, got some rainbows. We got the Millennium rainbows. Some males, thank you. I love these. Kind of like an eerie and red, yeah. same kind of color. And they do make an albino variant. Of I like the well. albino better. Yeah. I, I kind of like the females on these, aren't too bad. They kind of for, because a lot of times the rainbow females, are very kind of like plain looking. Uh -huh. These kind of have like a cool kind of goldish green kind of color to them. Some rainbows, we got some turquoise. Kind of like the Kamakas, but bigger. Longer, I feel like the Kamakas, no, I think more shaped. longer. Yeah, I think yeah. Kamakas is gonna be more like the Bozmani. Yeah, like yeah. Fat. Deep, yeah, fatter. Yeah. And these don't get as big. These will be a little bit smaller. So if you're a little bit more hamped on you know fish tank space, maybe you got that 38 gallon or something yeah. like that, 35, 36, you could probably do these guys. It's a trio of a cool fish. It's been kind of hard to get a hold of this past year. I've been bringing them in. Uh, it's a pocket sized little fish. African butterfly fish, oh. pocket arowana. Oh, that's cool right there. I can see that picture on there. Cool. Awesome fish. I would love to do like a coffee table aquarium with these guys. Oh, yeah, because you've seen them at the top. See them on top. Each one has their own like almost unique pattern. A lot of people think, oh, they're dead or they're upside down. <laughs> no, they look like a leaf. <laughs> yeah. So they look amazing when you look at them from above. I don't know if you can get a picture. You can kind of see that from the top with your camera. That yeah. Fin structure. Look at that. Real cool. They're flying. I think, I think this was some like lily pads, like dwarf aquarium lilies and tiger uh -huh. lotuses. Oh man, that'd be a slick tank. All right, thank you, Robert. Hopefully, we will see you again. Please. In the near future. <laughs> Hashtag don't cancel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for joining in. See you next time.